What's up, comic book fans? Today I'm going to be taking you through everything that's included with your crafty modern comic book frame. I'm going to show you all the different pieces with your kit. I'm also going to take you through how to put it together, and we're going to do a little bit of design styling. We're going to match some different colored borders with some different comic books, some different options of things that you can do with your wooden backing and things like that. And so we're going to have a lot of fun with this tutorial, and so let's just jump right into it. Uh, this is your hanging template, so before you actually put the frame together, together you're going to want to make sure that you know you got the holes lined up in your wall correctly and so this template's going to help you do that it is it's an example also of how it's covered in this little film here that i'm kind of struggling to peel back kind of nubby fingers and got it there we go so every acrylic piece that you have in your kit is going to be covered in a film like this it's going to help you from getting those grubby little fingerprints all over your very nice clean acrylic and common book. Uh, keep in mind, we do have UV protective acrylic options for these frames, so if you have any nicer key issues, signatures, things like that, make sure you upgrade to that UV protective acrylic. Right now, uh, oh, there you go, you caught my uh, reflection there for a second. I do not have the budget on being told to CGI that out, so it stays in. Uh, now, let's kind of just jump right into putting this bad boy together, okay? Uh, we got your wood backing right here. Let's put this on a flat surface. Bam, on my desk. Next, colored back mat border. This one's black. This is what you're going to get with your kit. We do have different colored options available. Next, the frame piece. This creates the depth for your comic. You'll have up to two of these in your comic kit that creates up to a quarter inch of depth. They are each one eighth inch, one eighth plus one eighth eighth. Bleh, bleh. For math experts out there, a quarter inch. And so now, flash speed, put these posts and screws into the corners like so. Do not catch that I have misdone that one and now I fixed it. Bam, there we go. Hulk 181, looking sexy. Wolverine's first appearance. Don't want to cause any drama with the 180 versus 180 references, but hey, look, got your holes right there. They're going to line right up on the wall for you because you've already used that template to put your marks on the wall, build your collage. Now let's talk color combos. We got green, we got red, white, clear, purple, gray. Am I missing anything? I don't know. White. Oh, we got white right here. Okay, so here, maybe you got white. How's that look? Red, uh, maybe it meshes too much with the red of the background. Gray, gray is a nice kind of classic looking color. You know, a lot of different ways you can go with that. Uh, so again, it's all about kind of making them unique. We want the artwork to stand out. We want your displays to stand out because your collection's unique. So we think your displays should be too. Now let's take a look at uh, paint job. Oh God, excuse the, the crude paint job here. I had too many hard seltzers when I had been doing this. Let's go with a blue though and uh, maybe a green to start with. Uh, let's see, what comic am I debuting first here? Ah, we got the, the classic Wolverine Frank Miller cover. I think this looks really nice, even though there's not a lot of green in this. Okay, so maybe I swap that out. Uh, boom, let's go with a, a white instead. You know, white for very vibrant colors can really make the, the cover stand out. So here we got this Matina Flash variant, super cool. Makes it look like they're jumping out of the Speed Force right out of that frame. Uh, now let's see what we got next. Let's go with uh, let's go with maybe a little bit of a brighter color. Let's go with a red. And, and here's personally one of my favorite comic book covers of all time. Uh, I, I know it's not you know highly valuable or anything like that, but I do think it's incredibly cool. The Spider-Man homage to his loves Black Cat, Mary Jane, Gwen Stacy it looks very cool in this red border to not distract from the artwork, so it really stands out. But Painting and staining is not the only thing you can do. You can also mod podge. That's taking glue and essentially brushing it onto the wood and just sticking different layers of panels, characters, titles. I took a free comic book day issue and did this one as an homage to Weapon X for this issue of uh, Wolverine number one. And I love this cover. I think this variant stands out. Very cool. And there we have that. So I'd love to see what you guys do. Make sure you tag us at, at WeCrafty, and that's Crafty with an I.